Have you ever wondered how time is measured? It's a fascinating concept that humans have been grappling with for centuries. From sundials to hourglasses, from mechanical clocks to digital watches, our methods have continuously evolved. Today, we've transcended beyond the confines of physical objects to measure time, venturing into the realm of the atomic. This journey into the infinitesimally small has led us to a surprising hero in the quest for precision. In the world of atomic clocks, one isotope stands out, cesium-133. Cesium-133 is not just any isotope. It has a special role in the world of atomic clocks. This particular isotope is extraordinary because of its consistent frequency of electromagnetic radiation. This consistency comes into play during the transition of an electron between two specific energy levels. Imagine it like a pendulum swinging back and forth. The pendulum of a grandfather clock might swing once every two seconds, and we use this to measure time. But instead of a pendulum, cesium atomic clocks use the frequency of radiation emitted from a cesium-133 atom. This frequency is incredibly stable, making it an ideal standard for measuring time. The atomic clock registers over 9 billion cycles of radiation from the cesium-133 atom as one second. That's a lot of swings of the pendulum to count. But it's this exact process that gives us our incredibly precise measurement of time, this process results in an incredibly precise measurement of time. So, how does this relate to the seconds ticking away on your watch? Well, let's dive in. In the world of atomic clocks, cesium-133 holds a prominent position. This isotope is a timekeeper like no other. In 1967, the International System of Units officially redefined the second, the fundamental unit of time. They based this new definition on the distinctive properties of cesium-133, Specifically, they focused on the transition frequency, which is the frequency of electromagnetic radiation emitted when an electron in a cesium atom transitions between two specific energy levels. This transition frequency of cesium-133 was set as the new standard for a second. The official definition? A second is the duration of 9,192,631,770 cycles of radiation from a cesium. 133 atom. This might sound like a mouthful, but it's the backbone of our modern understanding of time. This definition gives us a way to measure time with incredible precision. But just how precise are these atomic clocks? Well, to give you an idea, let's turn to cesium atomic clocks. These remarkable pieces of technology are capable of measuring time with an astounding level of accuracy. In fact, they're so precise that they would only be off by about one second every 100 million years. Now you might be asking, why do we need such an immense level of precision? The answer lies in the numerous fields that rely on this technology. In scientific research, for instance, this precision is crucial for experiments that require exact time measurements. In the realm of telecommunications, atomic clocks play a pivotal role too. They provide the synchronization necessary for data transmission and reception, allowing us to enjoy seamless communication across the globe. So, the next time you glance at the clock or make a phone call, remember the atomic clock. It's ticking away, providing the precision that our modern world needs to function smoothly. This level of precision is vital for our modern world to function smoothly. Scene script. Atomic clocks are not just for science labs, they're used in everyday life. Imagine a world where every country had its own measure of time. Sounds chaotic, right? That's where atomic clocks step in. National metrology laboratories in many countries use cesium atomic clocks to establish their national time standards. This is the same TikTok that governs everything from your smartphone to the traffic lights at the crossroads. But how do these standards reach you? The answer is time signals. These are essentially the heartbeat of an atomic clock broadcasted across the nation. These signals are picked up by various devices from the clock on your wall to your GPS system. They ensure that everyone is quite literally on the same second. Now you might be wondering why cesium? Well, the cesium-133 atom has a particular characteristic. It oscillates exactly 9,192,631,770 times when transitioning between two specific energy levels. This precise oscillation gives us the most accurate measure of a second. So, cesium atomic clocks not only help define the second but also synchronize our world in its rhythm. They keep the trains running on time, our GPS systems accurate, and our telecommunications infrastructure humming along. So next time you check your watch, remember that you're linked to an atomic clock and ultimately to a cesium-133 atom.